these uh, motorcycles have been here for a while. All right, here we're going through the motorcycle yard and we've already been in it for a little bit. But I love like trail 70s, trail 60s, the mini trails. I mean, this is just, Just a few motorcycles, mostly Hondas and such. And an old truck, Honda three-wheeler. And a Camaro, oh, dude, there's two Camaros. Dude, you see the two Camaros over here? No. There's two uh, first-gen Camaros right here. Oh. Wow. 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 I'll try to make my way over there in a minute. Yeah, no, that's okay. It's just overwhelming. I'm going to walk up towards the barn. Which way? I'm going to walk this way towards the barn. Oh, there's an old mini bike frame. These car, these uh, motorcycles have been here for a while. Wow. All right. Let's see where to go from here. Okay, I don't know enough about motorcycles, but this is crazy. Benelli? Don't know what Benelli is. Hondas. <clears throat> wow. Well, oh, I see an A100 over there. We'll walk there in a minute. This is just insane. And he said the barn is full of stuff too. I don't even think we can get to the door. <laughs> Speedway. All right, here we are back at the main part. Another Honda three-wheeler, some scooters. More. I'm gonna try to at least see the A100 van. Ooh, Dodge Semi. Oh, and a Nash Metropolitan. Bunch of cool stuff. Now, I've traveled the country and seen a lot of cool stuff, but I've never seen a yard that had several thousand motorcycles. Those were his words, not mine. And I don't doubt that in the least. Just you'll see from the video and the pictures that acres of Honda motorcycles collected through decades of work as he was a Honda motorcycle tech, basically. So there was stuff everywhere. And the cool thing is that he also had nice ones that I think he sold or something like that. But now all these vintage Hondas are becoming back in style. So I have no doubt that they're worth a few bucks at least. I mean, you know, not a few bucks. You know, they're worth a good chunk of change. And I only saw a small portion of it because I had a few hours at the property and I wanted to see it all. And I missed, I missed a whole bunch of cool cars and motorcycles. 
but this series will show a good idea what is at the property and just i mean you can see they're just everywhere stacked up like cordwood and the cars and everything and the neat thing is he is selling so don't forget the information is in the description on who to contact about buying some of this well i hope everyone enjoyed that video from the yard in tennessee it was really incredible to see all those motorcycles i've never been to a yard quite like that to say the least and the really cool thing is that the yard owner does want to sell parts he might even want to sell entire motorcycles i know he is selling cars i've left in the description information to contact the owner's associate about anything you see i can tell you now it's in southeast tennessee like even further southeast of chattanooga you can discuss with them exactly the location they do let people come in and check it out so also uh my friend bill ackerman with flatbroke garage he also did a series of videos on this yard and i'll put a link to his page in the description so you can see more and i'll be releasing a series of videos over the next about i think month from this yard it includes cars trucks i think even a boat so if you have any comments or questions let me know otherwise i hope everyone had a happy and healthy new year and here's to an exciting 2023